heavyweight boxing fans what's the deal so i'm on boxingscene.com right now like always on my channel i'll leave this article in the description box you click it you read it and come to your own surmise all right so eddie hearn says wilder versus joshua will be built up as a showtime pay-per-view let me go ahead and read some quotes from her, and I'm going to give my opinion about what he had to say. He says, I've seen Deontay Wilder calling out AJ's name. That's a fight we like to build towards, a dual pay-per-view on Showtime in the U.S. and Sky here. We probably need a couple more fights, maybe even a fight in America in early 2017, Hearn said. Okay, so now this is my opinion. Now, I don't think anybody at the heavyweight division is scared of each other. When you, I mean, when you have guys this size with one here to quitter in their fist, I don't think they're going to be scared of each other, okay? But, now, this is just me. Whenever I see Hearn or Team Joshua talk about Wilder, it's always a uh, let's build towards it or down the road type of situation where Deontay Wilder says, let's fight now. Like, let's get it over with now. You know, so... I don't know, man, but when it comes to Tyson Fury, they want to fight him. You know, uh, even Klitschko, I've heard, thrown in there. It's like they're more willing to fight Fury or Klitschko than they are willing to fight Deontay Wilder as far as fighting him soon. You know, now for this, they want to build towards it as a huge pay-per-view. Okay, on the business side, fair enough, cool. If that's what they want to do, Hearn is a businessman. He's in this to make money. Fine, cool. But, uh... What do you guys think about this being on pay-per-view? Now, me personally as a fan, 2016, I'm really getting tired of pay-per-views. I, you know, I'm just, I don't really see the need for it as far as far as for me as a fan. For the business end, I know, you know, the fighter and the promoter and the networks, they want to make money. But for me as a fan, I really don't care about pay-per-view no more, really, man. I'm not really excited about uh, giving away my money, especially sometimes when these pay-per-views don't live up to the hype. Now, heavyweights, it's a, it's a little different because usually when you think of mega pay-per-views, you think of heavyweight boxing. Now, I know Oscar De La Hoya and then my man uh, Floyd Mayweather, Manny Pacquiao, they kind of changed the scene, you know, when they came to the fruition. Uh, they they kind of changed the scene with pay-per-views, you know what I mean? But, uh, you know, Oscar had pay-per-views with Trinidad and so on and so forth. So, heavyweight boxing usually are, you know, big pay-per-view sellers especially from the 90s and then when, you know, Mike Tyson was coming in in the 80s and even going into the 90s, you know, so heavyweight pay-per-views are a little bit different in my opinion because most likely they're going to end by knockout and there's excitement there and usually the undercards are, they have good, un they have some good undercards, but what do you guys think about this possibly being a big pay-per-view fight? I mean, I'll pay for this one, although I just said I'm getting tired of pay-per-view, but the heavyweights to me, like I said, it's a little different than the other divisions. And I'm most likely going to end by knockout. And this will be a mega pay-per-view fight. Especially both of these guys still have uh, zeros in the in their loss columns when they meet each other. But there's a lot that's going to go down possibly before this fight. You know, and I'm a big believer in uh, unification should take precedent over fighting your mandatories. You know, but Joseph Parker is the mandatory for uh, Anthony Joshua. I've heard him throw around names such as Carlos Takam and uh, Huey Fury. You know, so, but Deontay Wilder has claimed that he wants this fight before years in with Anthony Joshua. He has Ariola coming up. I see the WBC is going to come down with some type of decision with uh, Alexander Povetkin in a few weeks here. So I guess we'll see how this plays out. But it's just, you know, I don't know, man. It's just kind of funny. You know, when I hear Wilder get thrown to Hearn, it's uh, let's build towards that fight, you know, maybe early next year type of thing. But, Maybe he's looking at just the business of this. Maybe he thinks there's a, a pretty penny to be made off of fighting Deontay Wilder, especially if he's undefeated with his WBC title. You know, so I totally understand that. But, you know, Tyson Fury and Klitschko, you know, they're, they're, they're not just pedestrian fighters either, man. So I'm just getting this out there. You guys let me know what you think in the comment section. I'm out.